That's a good intro. <laughs> so a new wave of Hololive VTubers just debuted, and I'm here to report on it. I'm gonna give you guys a brief summary on all of them. There are f five VTubers. I forget, there's four debuts, five VTubers, because there's a two-in-one special going on there. And before I get started, I just wanna let you guys know that this was an insane debut. I'm talking gigantic numbers. Over 100,000 people constantly watching every single one of the debuts. And I know that Hololive EN is ginormous. I mean, Gargura is the biggest VTuber on the planet as of right now. These numbers were astronomical. And the lead up to the debuts, the hype that got accumulated was off the rails. And I do think that's primarily due to how Hololive treats their VTubers. When they do have new VTubers, they give them time, they flesh them out, they allow them to be rooted within the community. And what that does is that it builds anticipation in viewers' minds as to when the next wave of VTubers shows up. All that leading up to this massive debut block that happened during the weekend. And that's nothing new. Debuts are always probably like the highest viewed thing that a VTuber experiences because they want the viewers to let them know who they are and vice versa viewers want to know who they are and that's usually like a really fun thing for people to experience all of this led up to this video which I'm going to be needing a green screen for give me a minute <laughs> got my green screen all right before I get into this one I do have to mention something What the hell is this? What's going on here? Is she okay? I'm pretty sure they've made wipes and stuff, so, you know, it doesn't look like that. Makeup can be a I know. I put on makeup before, and it was a You know what works wonders? Coconut oil. Yeah, I don't know why, but for some reason, like, Twitter went nuts over this picture, and I have no idea why, but coconut oil. It's good stuff. I think I expected differently from Shiori when she officially first got announced versus to when she actually debuted. I thought she was going to be a lot more unhinged or somewhat more edgy, whatever that means. But it turns out she was actually quite nice, relaxing, which I quite enjoyed. However, she did want me to shout out very loudly Hollow Advent, and you know, if I did that here, I would get a noise complaint, so instead I'll just do it outside. Everyone? I want you to scream for me. So, one, two, come on. Is this all you can do for me? Hollow Advent. Hollow Advent! That was liberating. <laughs> I must say, all of these girls had some very memorable parts of their debuts. And for sure, Shioti's most memorable part is the fact that she witnessed, or I, I guess I should say, stopped a certain activity from happening in front of her property. The cats around my area have come to know me a little bit too well. They started, what is the term? Caterwauling? One of them brought perhaps either their girlfriend or their sister. I was talking to one of my genmates for this, Risa, in fact, and I sent a picture saying, I think they're playing or something. And she affirmed that no, they are clearly doing something else. And I asked, should I be stopping them? And she said, yes, please. I knocked against the window to catch their attention. And the cat, he paused. He did pause. He looked at the source of the sound. And then he kept going. And I was concerned at this point. I will not have unprotected acts on my lawn here. So I went out there. And I, I was basically saying, stop. And it freaked them out. That's right. Unsolicited cat sex. I'm not gonna lie, thank god those cats decided to try and do it in front of Shioti's house because if it was anybody else, they probably were TikTokers, YouTube shorters, or something like that, and that would have been up on the algorithm, in my feed, and I don't need to see that. Why am I getting... Why? Is that guy fingering her asshole? But god bless Shiori for <laughs> doing God's work and preventing cat sex. Can I be completely honest with you guys? She spent a long time talking about books. Now, if you know me, you know that I'm not a very good book type of person. Me and books don't really get along too well. The divorce was kind of ugly after high school. I'm not going to lie. As soon as she started going on her tangent about books, I pulled out my phone and started doing my Nikkei dailies. I'm sorry, but Summer Anise is coming out very soon, and I need to get my gems to be able to guarantee that I get that character. She looks so good. And don't get me wrong, I do use books to start campfires. I'm just kidding. I don't actually do that. 
Anyway, she likes books because obviously she's the Hollow Advent archiver, so she's required to be able to take information down, knowledge, and then store them into wherever the hell she puts it. One of the things that made me really sad was when she went over her list of games. As a video game enjoyer, it made me very, very sad. So I say as a community, we should all collectively come together and just unanimously just shout out to the void. I can fix her. So let's say hypothetically she asks me, hey, what good game should I play to be able to make this a good list? All right, let me go ahead and go over them for you. Dark Souls or any from software game, really. You're a Hollow Knight VTuber, so you're obligated to love Splatoon. Hollow Knight, Undertale, Nier Automata, Pokemon, or any Nintendo game, really. Final Fantasy, actually better yet, Kingdom Hearts. And the fact that there's no Apex Legends or Minecraft, that, that should be illegal. Like, what's going on here? Also, I'm very happy about this list of husbandos that she listed. However, that one right there, this, this one. Riku, yes, that one, that one's mine. No tokas. All these other husbandos, you can have them. This one's mine. You see that car key that he has? Yeah, that's those are my keys. That's my car. I gave him my car as a sign of our friendship. I also really loved when she said that bugs aren't alive. I thought that was hilarious. Like, what if somebody interviewed a bug and like heard those comments? Like, what would they say? Excuse me? Excuse me, sir? Shioti from Hollow Life just commented that bugs aren't alive. What do you have to say? I'm a beautiful butterfly! I also love that the Archiver is a very appropriate title for her because she has been around for a long time, apparently, when it comes to technology and VTubers and stuff like that. So she has a lot of knowledge as to how VTubers used to operate back in the past and how they operate now. And I think that's very valuable information and I'm very excited to be able to dive in to that stream and to be able to kind of understand how VTubing has been evolving. So Shioti, she's a good one. She's a keeper, maybe. I'm gonna be completely 100 with you guys. This was probably my favorite debut of the four because she ticked off so many check marks for her debut, for my brain to be visually stimulated and auditorily stimulated. Let me explain though, don't make it weird. First of all, she digivolved from Rockamon to VTubermon. I get it. It's like Maduka Maguka, you know, Gabagoo. Gabagoo. <laughs> Gabagoo. Also, can I just say that her rock form is the most intimidating thing in the world? If I ever see this in the middle of the night, forget about it. I'm going to piss my pants. Possibly sh You never know. I'm usually not afraid of a lot of things, but that... That terrifies me. However, I did love her role in Night at the Museum when she says, dum dum, give me gum gum. When I think of that, it's usually a little bit less scary. Dum dum. And I gotta tell you, that's... Now that's a game list right there. You got Dark Souls, you got Splatoon, you got Hollow Knight, Undertale, Tales of Kingdom Hearts, Nier, Pokemon, pretty much all the Apex. This is sounding familiar. But that's a gamer right there. I'm excited to see her play all sorts of different other games. I can't wait. Also, apparently she streams for an extended period of time, which is actually pretty amicable because there's another person around here that also streamed for a very long time. And with these two, I'm gonna go ahead and announce something. When the new Hollow Cure update drops, I'm going to be endurance streaming in the name of Kayla and Biju. I'm going to be trying to get every single achievement in one week when that update drops. More information in the future god bless my soul i'm gonna need a lot of gamer subs to be able to fuel my gamer energy when the time comes hey speaking of gamer subs i want you all to do me a favor i want you all to go to the description down below and buy yourself a gamer subs cup or a flavor or a piece of merch or anything and use my coupon code coco koe koe this is not a suggestion this is an order i want you all to do it right now as we speak so you can get Sorry, it's really distracting to talk to you guys while I'm staring at this girl's ass. Let me get another cup. Like I said, doing so will support the channel. It allows me to do things like this all the time. And if you didn't support my channel, then I wouldn't be able to do anything like this. Oh, for the love of God, this one too. And if you don't know what Gamer Subs is, it's basically an energy supplement company that fuels your gamer energy, gets you up in the day, gets you up and going, but they also have non-caffeinated versions, which I drink at night personally, and they're very delicious and they're very flavorful and they make my tummy go yum yum. 10% off using coupon code Coco, KOE, KOE, supports the channel. I appreciate it. I'm going to be drinking a shit ton of that when the Hollow Cure challenge occurs. I'm going to be doing that. Yeah. Now, her fan name is actually The Pebbles. 
which is adorable. It makes me want to go, ah. And one thing that she did to be able to solidify the Pebbles as a mainstay Hololive fan group is that she encouraged others to be able to draw their own designs for the Pebbles. So on stream, she drew a basic outline for a Pebble and then she made her own version of a Pebble. And other people can also do the same thing in Microsoft Paint or whatever, have little intricate designs. And guess what? I actually did my own. I have footage of it. Here it is. All right, everybody, welcome to my pebble making session. And uh, we're going to start off with the template here. And we're going to go ahead and get it with the eyes. And we're going to make them nice and round. And then we're going to go ahead and put in some pupils, nice and black, just like my actual eyes. And then we're going to go with the mouth, get some teeth in, and uh, make them look nice and straight. Oh, maybe a little jagged. Okay, I guess my teeth are jagged. And then next, we're going to go ahead and go with my rock color, which is like a nice gray right here. We're going ahead and Fill that all and it doesn't even matter if I get the mouth or the eyes because we're going to fill that in right now with some white. And of course, we're going to go ahead and get my teeth going as well. I guess I ate chocolate. Why is it brown? I'm not sure. Uh, I guess I'm doing this uh, just on the fly. But then we're going to go ahead and fill in the teeth. Yep, nice and white, just like my actual teeth. And then we're going to go ahead with my beard because I need a beard, of course. And then we're going to go ahead and get some shine on here and uh, also some shadows as well. So we're going to draw that all in, fill that all in as well. Make it nice and rocky because it's shiny and then I'm going to get a scowl because apparently I'm scary. Uh, I didn't know that, but that's all right. I'm going to go and draw some hair and I'm going to draw a little flame or little. Okay, I do have a full head of hair, but apparently I'm alfalfa from Little Rascals and that's my pebble. And I definitely drew this. Yep. Now that's a handsome fella. It looks just like me. In a rocky way. So overall, it was a very fun debut, very fun stream. It was probably my favorite one of the four. Biju absolutely surprised me. She's adorable. Her model is super cute. I love her transformation. I love the drawing stream. I love her list of games. She was great. Let's move on to our third contestant, shall we? Soup, soup, tasty soup. Super spicy. The next up is Narissa, the demon of soup. Narissa was an interesting debut. Now, Narissa, as you all know, she is soup. Or at least is a big fan of soup. I can't remember. She's the demon of... That's what it is. She's a demon of soup. You can expect her in the next Doom game. To be honest with you, I didn't really think of soup as soon as I saw that tidbit cut off of the trailer. However, the memes that have spawned out of it were really funny. Bringing back the Code Geass soup clip was incredible and I was very happy to see it again. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? You. Now on to her debut. She has an incredible singing voice apparently and I tried to see what other things were relevant in her debut But it was all blocked off by the fact that she didn't wear underwear I don't know why but everyone gave a shit. and I'm gonna be very honest with you I don't really care that she wears underwear or I'm sorry that she doesn't wear underwear Why because I don't wear underwear and nobody gives a shit. But all of a sudden, this soup demon with a feathery butt doesn't wear underwear and everyone gives a shit all of a sudden. <laughs> hey, where are you going, camera? My eyes are up here. Don't you dare look down there. However, there was a really funny meme going around on Twitter where somebody photoshopped how she would look like without her feathery butt. And what was under the feathery butt was a butt that could match even my own. Now, I actually made my own butt meme and I thought it was really funny. So, editor son, put in the butt meme right now. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! I don't know why I found that funny. I just did. My brain chuckled, and so did my butt. And if my butt chuckled, it was probably funny. A lot of people were comparing her to Crony, which I can definitely see. She definitely has that Onesan type vibe or that monotone kind of chill vibes that Crony has as well. I can definitely see them do a collab, and at some point, the viewers will probably play a game where they close their eyes and they try to pinpoint out who is who. You can see my side f side view, and as you can see, I have uh, some really big, some really big. <laughs> Some really big things right there. So please, uh, draw me lots of fan art. You should, you should fan artists, you know, you know what to do with this information, right? Right? Yeah, you're talking about your weapons, right? Two really big weapons, your fork and your microphone. In all actuality, she actually does have a really cool design that could actually be in a fighting game, and I would definitely pick her up. I'd definitely be forking people like crazy. She could just have her tuning fork and just be like, I'm gonna tune you up. Ding! and just plays out for the entirety of the round. Anyways, Narissa was a lot of fun. She's definitely a very Onesan type. I definitely will be watching her a lot more just because uh, she reminds me of Crony and I really like Crony. I like to put her in the background and whenever Crony's not streaming and she's streaming, I'm probably gonna go over to her stream because her voice is similar to Crony. So, you know, you know, you know, you know where I'm going with this, right? Anyways, let's move on to contestant number four and five. 
Now this is the debut that I've been waiting for the most because never in the history of Hololive have we ever had twin VTubers. Now that concept has been around for quite a while apparently as what everyone has told me on Twitter. Not only are they twins but they also speak Japanese, the both of them, and they are a perfect fit for this company. Oko-chan behind you? No. <laughs> no. Like I said, I'm not looking behind me. Oh, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, 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 oh. Ah! You know, I'm thinking more about this. Did I just get, am I being bogoed? I think I am being bogoed. Buy one, get one free. I always heard of the term bogoed, but I never actually thought I would actually get bogoed. Well, this is something serious. Like I know that this is something new, but like this is actually like very serious. Like when I do my, you smile, you loses. Do, and, and they make me smile or they make me laugh. Do I have to pay them both? Or do I get one and then the one that didn't make me laugh, I get a 50% discount. Or the other way around. Do I not get a discount, but I have to pay double? I, the, the, this this whole thing is just being turned upside down right now. And I just, I, I don't know what to do anymore. Oh my God, we have a new category of math. Holy crap. There was boys math, girls math, and now we have twin math. Sorry, what? What, what is boys math, girls math, and twins math? Oh, hold on, uh, I'll explain it to you real quick. Boys math is very simple. Whenever you are 5'10", right? Boys, you know what I'm talking about. You're 5'10", and you, and you could pass off as 5'11". You're technically six foot. That's how it is. That's just the, 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 the math checks out. You know what I'm saying? Now, girls math is where it gets a little complicated. So if I'm, if I remember this correctly, so apparently if you want to get extensions for your wedding and the extensions are a thousand dollars and the wedding is $40,000 and you want to take pictures at the wedding and uh, then you, you don't get the extensions and you wait 10 years to get the extent you actually are saving $40,000 because you didn't get the picture. Hold on a minute. Oh, I, I got a better idea. Give me a second. So again, can you explain to me what girls math is? Cause I keep forgetting. So let's say you're getting married. The hair that the bride wants done is going to cost one thousand dollars okay but she decides not to do it because it's a thousand dollars and weddings are expensive and they have other things that they need to pay for and got to go on honeymoons but because she didn't pay this one thousand dollars so then what she's gonna do is think about it for the next 10 years because she didn't pay the thousand dollars but then she's looking at her wedding photography and photographers are very expensive they capture the day they're the most important part of a wedding next to signing the paper so she sees in her wedding photos she doesn't have that one thousand dollar hair she thinks about it for the next 10 years in 10 years i'm going to get that hair done and redo the wedding photos so she can have the wedding photos that she wants which that's going to cost forty thousand dollars to redo that because she didn't spend that one thousand dollars initially so she so on top of paying forty thousand dollars she's gonna have 10 years of regret right here this is this is the 10 years of regret so she should have just gone with the one thousand dollar hair not regretted it and saved forty thousand dollars so essentially by getting the one thousand dollar hair you save $39,000. So it's essentially free. Like if you look at that, that $1,000 hair is essentially free. Does that make sense? No. Now twins math. Oh boy, twins math. All right, let me explain what twins math is right now. Give me a second. All right, boys, listen up. Twins math, I'm only gonna say this once. All right, let's say that the twins are venturing out. There's two of them, there's Fuawa and there's Mokoko. And they're going out and they, let's say that they're hungry. They wanna eat something. Let's say they wanna eat some Ponder Rings. Those are really good. And they go out to a shop, all right? They wanna order a dozen each. The shop, the donuts are about, let's say $24 for a dozen. That's about $2 for, for one of the Ponder Rings. These are the big ones. These are the real good ones and they're big girls so they need the nutrition so they eat the the big ponder all right let's say 24 dollars, okay 24 dollars. then you got taxes and 
probably some Uber Eats type of fees because VTubers don't go anywhere outside of their offices because they're always inside. So obviously it's gonna be around a grand total around like twenty seven dollars fifty something seven to say fifty cents. And there's two of them. There's two of them. So that means it's gonna be about fifty five dollars in grand total. All right, this equation is all off. Don't worry about it. Fifty five dollars in grand total. That's how much they need to pay to be able to eat these ponderings. Okay. However, this shop is running a deal. Anything over fifty dollars, you get fifteen percent off of anything on your order. So you got fifty percent off of fifty five dollars. How much is that? Well, shit. Now we gotta do the twins math. So let's go ahead and get the twins math going. Okay. So what's 15% of $55. Let's go ahead and do the math, shall we? Basically gotta do 15 times 55. I don't have a calculator, so I gotta do it the long way. 10 times 50 equals what? That's right, 500. Step number one. Step number two, five times 50 equals what? That's right, 250. Step number three. 15 times five equals what? That's right. 75. Step number four, add them all up. What is that in? 500, 250, 75. 825, obviously. After that, all you gotta do is move the decimal point two points over. Right there, $8.25. That's how much you get to subtract off of 55. But I'm a genetic freak, and I'm not normal. 55 minus 825 is how much? That's right, it's $46.75. Twins math. Whew, I gotta sit down. That was a lot of brain power, actually. Twins math. Gotta love it. If you want to support this channel, don't subscribe, don't like this video unless you really want to. All you gotta do is super chat $46.75 to the twins and make sure that it's for Ponderings Fund. That'll make me really happy. Anyways, their debut was nothing short of adorable. They always bounce off of each other and they make it so that they share a, like a similar brain cell. I love how Mokoko actually came out thinking that we were intruders and then Fuawa came out and she was like, oh no, they're not actually intruders. They're, they're nice people. It's like, oh, they're nice people. Oh yeah. Who are you? Wow, why? Why are you here? Hi! Mokocha! Mokocha! Ochi, calm down! You don't need to bark so much, okay? Why don't you use your sniffer? Oh, hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. If they're good people, then they'll smell good, right? 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 They started smelling us, and that's when I got really nervous. Because I know I shower. What about you guys? Come here. You know what this is? This is deodorant. You wear it so you don't get sweaty and you don't smell like shit. How about this, huh? huh? This is cologne. Wear it whenever you want to go outside and smell good. Lastly, this is the most important one. Listen up. Body soap. You wear body soap whenever you want to smell clean and be clean. You better be showering and bathing and being clean because the dogs are gonna smell us. So anyways, all I ask is that you guys smell somewhat relatively clean next time you show up to a Fua Coco stream. Just saying. Wait, what's that? Does that say school days? Favorite anime school days? Is that, my eyes deceive me. What's going on there? What? Uh, <laughs> Hold on a second. That's not fair. You just say that school day is one of your favorite animes and just skedaddle on out of here like it's nothing? I can read, barely, but I can read. And that says school days, and I don't like that. I sound like Twitter. No, but seriously, like, what's going on there? You just uh, just leave without saying anything. Lucky you're cute. If not, I would be going down there and patting your head. Bo, 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 uh, uh, bo. No, I, I want to see him. Can we drop him? Can we drop oh, him? Oh, I want to drop like, him. But use our body. Uh, oh, I no. guess not. <laughs> Let's okay. go. Go Let's... together. <laughs> Now, while they were showing off all the different things that they want to do, there was something that actually caught my attention, and I want to talk about it. Do you see this right here? It says, get good at fighting game. I'm not going to say anything, but you know what I'm going to say if I did say something? I would love to get in contact with these twins. I'll coach them both. Hell, I'll quit my job, and I'll be their full-time coach. Whatever they need. I'm there. I don't know what kind of games they like. They didn't necessarily go over it. I don't know if they like anime games, Street Fighter games, it's Tekken games, tag team games, whatever the case may be. No matter what it is, I'm going to help them and I will help them be EVO champions. If so, help me God, I will help them. So I've definitely found some brand new VTubers to be able to look at. To be honest with you, the twins have been an absolute pleasure to watch. I actually saw a stream that they did that was essentially just a good morning show, which really reminds me of, uh, someone else good morning mother 
Walkers. But I love how they operate. It's really fun to see two VTubers be in the same space without it being a collab. They can bounce off of each other very nicely. You can tell that they get along with each other super well. They're probably IRL sisters for real. <laughs> And it's going to be really fun to expect more streams where they play games together and maybe they'll take turns. Kind of like how you used to play with your friends back in the day. Like when I was playing Kingdom Hearts with a good friend of mine, Miguel Alberto. And he and I would switch times every time we died. Every time we died, it's like, okay, you know, your turn. Okay. Oh, he died. Okay. Now it's my turn. You know, kind of like that. It kind of brings some nostalgic vibes that I didn't expect to feel when I was uh, when I fell into this rabbit hole. I don't know if they're going to be doing that. They're probably going to be doing many, many different things, but I'm just brainstorming on different things that these VTubers can actually do. Overall, this new generation of Hololive English VTubers have been fantastic to watch them debut. It was a lot of fun to be able to see their personalities for the first time. And uh, some of them have actually caught me by surprise in many ways than none. You'll definitely be seeing me in the Twins live stream. So if you do see me there, uh, try not to make a big deal out of it. I just want to enjoy it like everyone else. But if you do end up calling me out, I will hex you. Don't do it. Anyways, I know this video came out a little bit later, but I wanted to put a lot of emphasis because I wanted to try and delve into this style of content. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, you know what to do. Uh, subscribe and like and all that good shit. So anyways, all right, bye-bye now.